All right, here's a continuation of, uh, of my 57. I bought that 57. I got all these parts because the guy said if he's getting rid of his getting rid of his bug, he's going to get rid of all of it. Anyway, so yeah, we got lots of stuff here. We got the old W. Guess what they refer to as the W rear bonnet there. Oh, it looks real good. Quit uh, trying to make you guys sick here. Turning the camera every which way. A couple set of pipes. These are really, really loud. Uh, I don't know if those are a ceramic coated or quite what they are. Uh, but anyhow, you got some little, looks like the old uh, thrust type mufflers there. Couple sets of pistons. Uh, a lot of people, this is probably junk, but uh, when you work on your own stuff, and I've been working on a few other people's stuff too, uh, there's a lot of usable parts here. Now, here's some stuff Easy Jeezy or uh, EW Darren. I don't know if you guys can help me out on this. I'm still learning on some of this racing stuff, but this is obviously. Obviously some kind of hub adapter for some type of balancer uh, You know, I don't know maybe if this is a hub hub adapter for them serpentine setups. I'm I'm not sure but anyway, we got uh, We got brake lines. We got lots of gaskets a couple old tools We got some new stuff in here distributor caps coils uh, Looks like we got some seals Gasket sets, J pipes, fuel stuff there, fuel gauge, box of hood hinges, some tin pieces, e brake. Uh, looks like there's a rod in there. Another box of looks like tail lights, turn signals. Mirrors, coil, coil brackets, tubs there, there's a box of new stuff. Oh, well, looks like we got rotor, drain plugs, we got, uh, looks like there's a trunk latch there. Uh, some standard rings, which come in fine, I guess, if you break one. Perfect circle, good quality anyways. A couple of weatherproof caps. Uh, looks like we got uh, all right. That's a used fuel pump it says we've got wheel cylinder kits here uh, Rod bearings we've got new set of main bearings master cylinder kit New fuel pump. This is the old style fuel pump there. Yeah New in the box We've got Another distributor cap. Uh, brand new. Brand new generator. Look at that. Well, remanufactured. Remanufactured by Robert Boss. Uh, starter in here. Yeah. Now yeah, remanufactured. It says new, but anyway, box of goodies. More stuff there. Ashtray, I think, down in there. I saw earlier. Instead of the old style pedals. Here we go. Here's kind of a gym. See if I can get in on that there. Hurst. Yeah. They were kind of quite a collector's item now. So it's the pistons. Uh, these appear to be stock. Those might those look to be a little bit bigger. I haven't measured them. I couldn't tell you. Anyway, so there's lots of goodies. Lots of goodies. I've been hitting a swap meet in over in Weston. So I'll probably take a bunch of this stuff to Weston next year in May. Anyhow, here's the old drag motor that was in that car. So uh, anyway, there's kind of a long story behind this. I'd done some trading with this guy. And I ended up with the uh, close ratio transmission that was in the car 
and I ended up with the dual carbs because this engine was missing and I don't think he knew much about what was going on so I ended up trading him the old engine out of my wife's car that was running for the carbs and the uh, and the intake or the oh where they at here not the intake but the anyway the dual Weber 44s that and the transmission out of this car well anyway that car was built for drag racing so I was I was hoping I could find some goodies I did looks like we got mall pistons uh, the heads on here when I went up to look at this let me keep from getting too sidetracked when I went up to look at this I wanted to look at the engine and all the parts so what I did, it was, uh, uh, I believe it was number two. I forget which way it was sitting on the floor now. But anyway, it was on this. Pretty sure it was on that side. Anyway. So I popped the valve covers to check it out. And it was the intake. The intake and rocker, it was all the way just I've taken them loose now because I've got the other side tore apart. But anyway, the intake, the intake was adjusted all the way out and the push rod was just lay, was just laying in there. I'm like, well, that's why your engine was missing right there. So anyway, so then I get to looking. Let me come down here if I can get the CB044. So I was pretty tickled. That was about my lock-in on on buying the car because I thought the car was worth it anyways. Well, now I got a set of $500 heads. I've got to call CB and find out exactly if there's a way to tell what model of heads these are. If they've got stamps on number stamps. Uh, where was it? See, there's like a 22U. You know, I don't know if that stuff means anything. We've got. We've got some numbers right there. I'm sure they code them somehow. But anyway, so I'm pretty tickled. I'm pretty tickled. We've got uh, over here, he had moisture. Because uh, one of the carburetors had, you know, with it missing, it popped, backfired, and uh, had a fire. You could tell on the one side of the back there, it got a little black. So I imagine when he dumped water on it. To, uh, put the fire out but I got this soaking with some WD before I go tearing them apart but yeah he got some rust in that cylinder that is probably not any good but I'll have an extra set I've got two extra sets of uh, 1835 pistons anyhow so anyway uh, let me see if I can look in here I was looking earlier and it looks to be a German crankshaft. Get, my, get used to where my camera is at here. I don't know if you can see it or not on that one. You can see it on number one. But you can see in there, just to the right side. I turn my light and turn my flashlight down so it's not so bright. Well. Yeah. You can see a little bit of weld. Let me get on that side and do that. You can see a little bit of weld right there next to the rod. Well, my guess is, is it's a German crankshaft that's been welded and reground. So I don't know if it's got a stock stroke or not. That'll be my next, my next process. Yeah, you can see on this piston right here. Getting the right spot here. See where that valve? See that valve hit the piston. They didn't have it shimmed right. Anyway, so because I know the guy, I know of the guy that built the engine for drag racing, and it run like a scalded dog. I'd heard this. I'd heard it run. But anyway, the guy that I bought it from, I think he probably tried to mess around with it and didn't know much of what was going on. Uh, here nor there, doesn't much matter. 
anyway i'm pretty tickled uh video's getting kind of long probably boring boring the crap out of everybody so uh anyway with that yeah shop's getting to be a mess it's terrible 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 anyway you guys all uh have a good day see if i can come in here turn around see if i can see this here oh there we go all right something like that <laughs> all right anyway everybody have a good day i'll talk to you later bye